out what's blooming in May on Prime Sports. The following is a presentation of Prime Sports. Get ready for some sharp shooters. Five-time world nine-ball champion and recent millionaire, Earl Strick. Reigning world nine-ball champion, C.J. Wiley. It's the Dallas Million Dollar Challenge next on Prime Sports. CJ's Billiard Palace in Dallas, Texas. Prime Sports presents the Professional Q Sports Association's Dallas Million Dollar Challenge. Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin Eschenfelder. Glad to have you with, in with us here in Dallas alongside man they call pretty boy Floyd, Jimmy Mattia, three-time world champion in his own right. The latest body of governing bodies as far as the billiards is concerned, the PCA, and what a great way to start this weekend for them. Not only have they had some great matches, but also the latest millionaire in all of pro billiards. Jimmy Mattia, we talked first about that millionaire, Earl Strickland. He's outstanding coming into this one, playing very good billiards. Mamma me, I don't believe it. One million dollars, he did it on the first night, ran 11 racks. That's unheard of. Tonight, you're going to see the two greatest players, I think, in the world today, Earl Strickland, C.J. Wiley. When you talk about non-physical sports, Poole is by far the master of all games. The five-time world nine-ball champion you've got in Earl Strickland. On the other side, C.J. Wiley, the reigning world champion right now. He's been playing well as, as well. Well, I'll tell you, there'll be no love loss between this match here. These two guys, I personally don't think care for each other. They both think they're the number one in the world. I'm going to tell you something right now. You're not going to see Mike Tyson and Frank Bruno doing the waltz. These guys are going to fight. C.J. Wiley had to win seven straight games to advance to this final, and we'll have it when we come back in just a moment. The Dallas Million Dollar Challenge on Prime Sports is brought to you by... The Professional Q Sports Association. By Royal Cases. And by McDermott Cues. When it comes to custom cases, Royal Case is the place. We're one of the leading manufacturers of custom carrying cases in the United States. With over 30 years of experience, we make custom cases for anything imaginable in vinyl, nylon, cordura, or leather. We can produce as few as 50 pieces, up to 1 million or more. If your company has a new or existing product, give it the Royal treatment. Put it in a Royal Case. Faced with an impossible deadline, don't panic. We can do it. For the best service in the industry, call Royal Case Company, Sherman, Texas, at 1-903-868-0288. In the right hands, they're magic wands. We're going to do this one the hard way. Crafted of hard rock Canadian maple, protected with four coats of the toughest finish money can buy. An investment that will pay off year after year. Now we're going to shoot the 4-2 combination all the way down. It's knowing you own the best. Over 80 different models, shaft diameter, weight, inlay patterns and wraps. Create over 10,000 custom combinations, all bearing the number one name in pool, McDermott. Three rails on the eight, nine ball corner. For great shots and great times on and off the table, it's McDermott. Call now. 1-800-POOL-Q for the free catalog that'll put the best in your hands. There's no time like now. 1-800-POOL-Q. McDermott. Simply the best. Ava Mattia on one of America's fastest growing sports. When I play, I concentrate only on the game. And to do my best, it's important that the table is consistent and accurate. It all has to come together to be the best. And for me, that's Brunswick. Their tables are well made and beautifully designed. Whether competing in tournaments or having fun with family and friends, remember, the game is billiards and the name is Brunswick. Brunswick, a tradition of excellence since 1845. 
Welcome you back to C.J. Wiley's Billiard Palace in Dallas, Texas. Kevin Eschenfelder and Jimmy Matai. Before we get to today's final, I guess we ought to take a look back at the semifinals and what pretty much everyone thought was going to be a preview of this final, and it was. Yeah, C.J. Wiley and Earl Strickland went down to the wire. Well, it figures to go down the wire. Before this tournament started, I predicted that C.J. Wiley and Earl Strickland would be our two finalists. Who's going to be the finals? I don't know. But those are the best two players in the tournament, I think, today. Strickland and Wiley, we pick up the action in the semifinals, tied at nine games apiece. Now we're tied at nine. Here come the pool gods. What's going to happen the last couple games? Who knows? I know one thing's for sure. They're both going to be put through a lot of torture. I love it. That's <laughs> Robin, our head referee and rack man here for this semifinal match. We'll take a good look at him, make sure all the balls are frozen. Ball's got to be frozen. There goes a cue ball out of the re arena. It's a foul ball. And ball in hand for Earl the Pearl. A big mistake with score 9-9. Nine, nine. Keep it on the table. Yep. There she floats. Out into the river. Bring us in a new ball. That's usually where my golf shots go. Out into the river and into the woods. What ended up on our prime sports banner. For ball in hand, Earl Strickland. Earl hadn't been off the stool here in a while. Well, he doesn't seem to ever get cold, though. The minute he gets back to the table, he is ready to rumble. And I wouldn't be surprised that one mistake that C.J. Wiley just made, jumping the cue ball off the table, uh, Kevin, wouldn't be surprised at all if C.J. never comes back to the table. I guess after making the nine on the break, uh, he was looking to do it again, but hey, uh, he lost control of old Whitey there. You cannot have Whitey flying out of the stadium. That is a foul. And the Pearl now takes over. within a game of reaching the finals. CJ fought back hard to tie it up, Kevin, and I tell you what, when it scored 9-9 and him breaking, you had to make him the favorite. No problem here. It was good speed. He shot on the seven ball, the previous shot, to give himself a right straight in shot there on the eight, and then no problem with the nine. Strickland will really he'll wipe down the billiard balls. Get the cue ball in hand. He'll wipe those down between each uh, each game. The million dollar man who ran 11 racks on Nick Manino the first night of the tournament. Boy, they lost that million dollars fast. And there goes his ball out of the stadium. Holy smokes, I can't believe these guys are doing this, especially at this stage of the game. This is a break, big, big break for C.J. Wiley to get back to the table. That's something you rarely see Earl Strickland do. He controls his cue ball on the break very, very well. And to see it go flying out into the, uh, out into the stands, I hope it didn't hit a spectator. <laughs> See that two go flying through that shot? All righty. Okay, now here is not much problem. I'd say the key ball here in this frame, Kevin, would be playing position from the six to the seven. That would be the key. I 
I'd like to see this go down to the wire, a little 10-10. I'd like to see them both sweat. They've made me sweat enough throughout the years. I think your, your wish may be granted. <laughs> if, like you said, he can get to the seven ball. The seven ball this is the key shot right here. What's he going to do with the cue ball? How do you get position for the seven? Well, he left himself enough of an angle there on the six, too. Right. Two rails right around. He'll make the seven in the corner, draw the cue ball back, play the eight ball into the side pocket. Oh, Ooh. no. I don't believe it. I don't believe he missed that shot. That is going to put him into the loser's bracket. I can't believe he missed this shot. See, that's what I told you. It was not an easy shot, Kevin. The key there was playing position, getting good position on the seven. He really did have a decent shot at it. Uh, I know what's going through his mind right now. He'd like to give $10 million just to shoot that shot again. Terrible way for him to go out. Should have been a 10-10 ball game. Instead, it was Strickland. Wins a great match. 11-9 advances to the finals over C.J. Wiley. Earl will be at the finals later this afternoon. CJ will play right back the next time, time that we start. Now we need that interview, man. We take a break. When we come back, we will look at our second semifinal between CJ Wiley and Paul Pottier. All that when we return to Dallas in just a moment. Being a fan is tough when your team isn't the home team, especially when I try to find coverage of my favorite team in the local paper. I'm lucky there's even a box score. Well, if you're like me, you'll be happy to know there's one publication that'll make you feel right at home. The Sporting News. You'll love the Sporting News no matter what team you love, even if it is the home team. Call this number now and get four issues of the Sporting News free. You'll get opinions and strategies, transactions, trade rumors, injury reports, and the lowdown on the minors. Plus football, basketball, and hockey all year long. Call now and you'll get four free issues. If you like them, you'll get 24 more issues at this great TV price. If not, just mark the bill, cancel, and owe nothing. The four issues are yours to keep. So call now for the Sporting News, the publication that treats every team like the home team. Call now and get four great issues of the Sporting News free. Call now, 1-800-592-1222. Hi, I'm Leslie Goodell. Tonight on the Press Box, how will the Rangers do against that $18 million Baltimore infield? We'll have the highlights. And we'll break down day one of the NFL draft, team by team and round by round. It's all tonight, right here on Prime Sports. Welcome you back to C.J. Wiley's Billiard Palace in Dallas, Texas. C.J. Wiley down but not out to Paul Pottier. He trailed in this match 10 games to four, and he had to win seven straight to reach the finals. We pick it up 10-10 in the semis. This is where your billiard knowledge comes in. Ever so important, billiards. Now you'll see the combination. Why? Now you'll see the combination. Four, two, two into the four. Predicted he'll make this shot. But then again, Kevin, the combination shot. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the two ball going? Oh, Ooh, missed it. you know what he did? Oh, Look at this. Look at this. He set up the two nine company. He tried to play the two ball kiss shot off the nine. Why did you want to move the nine? Well, because the, the important thing is to just make the two. The four is sitting there. Now watch this. He tries to play the two off the nine. If he does that, the four is sitting right there. He's got perfect position. He's going to win the game. I can't believe that he didn't make that shot. Bad mistake there by Paul Pottier. Now C.J. Wiley looking at a two-nine combination. He's got to loosen up. He's got to concentrate here. If he makes this shot, the house is coming down. Comeback by C.J. Wiley down 10 games to four. He had no choice but to win seven straight, and he did. Unbelievable.
C.J. Wiley, seven in a row to shut out Paul Cartier from Canada. Unbelievable. That's why he's a champion. A seven-game run, and C.J. Wiley is headed to the finals, and he will meet Earl Strickland. Oh, an unbelievable comeback for C.J. Wiley, and that lands him a date with Earl Strickland in the finals, and we'll have that next. Looking to break into a new and exciting place to play? Everyone's talking about CJ's Sports Bar and Billiards Club. Open 24 hours on weekends, CJ's has a full-service bar and cafe serving your favorite foods. CJ's also has a pro shop with a complete line of billiard supplies. My friends and I come to play where the pros play and to watch CJ Wiley, ESPN's World Open Champion. So drop in to CJ's Sports Bar and Billiards Club, one half mile south of White Rock Lake next to Blockbuster Video on Garland Road. When it comes to custom cases, Royal Case is the place. We're one of the leading manufacturers of custom carrying cases in the United States. With over 30 years of experience, we make custom cases for anything imaginable in vinyl, nylon, cordura, or leather. We can produce as few as 50 pieces, up to 1 million or more. If your company has a new or existing product, give it the Royal treatment. Put it in a Royal Case. Faced with an impossible deadline, don't panic. We can do it. For the best service in the industry, call Royal Case Company, Sherman, Texas, at 1-903-868-0288. Looking to break into a new and exciting place to play? Everyone's talking about CJ's Sports Bar and Billiards Club. Open 24 hours on weekends, CJ's has a full-service bar and cafe serving your favorite foods. CJ's also has a pro shop with a complete line of billiard supplies. My friends and I come to play where the pros play and to watch CJ Wiley, ESPN's World Open Champion. So drop in to CJ's Sports Bar and Billiards Club, one half mile south of White Rock Lake next to Blockbuster Video on Garland Road. to win. The game one goes to Earl Strickland from Greensboro, North Carolina. Five-time world champion, five-time player of the year. Wanted to be sure and say hello to everyone in Roseboro, North Carolina. Well, Wiley got off to a good start. It's just sure how you did. finish Take that. a look at this shot, driving and run. Well, the one down the cushion there and right into the pocket. Great shot there. Great shot. And the five hanging up. One would think the five ball would have been an easy shot compared to the shot that he made on the one ball. One but then again, I think C.J. Wiley can consider himself a bit fortunate to even find himself in the finals after trailing uh, Paul Pottier ten games to four. One seven straight. He lost to Strickland 11-9 in the winner's bracket semifinal. As explosive a break as you're going to find. Yes, it is. Nine ball rolling, but scratch on the break. This shot here uh, will end this game. There will be a one-shot victory for CJ in this frame, uh, Kevin. He will take the one right now, and I would imagine he just go ahead and pump it into the 3-9. Why not? Why wait? Why he's doing this, I don't know. Just go ahead and shoot into the 3-9 right now. And maybe he wants to get a little practice, I guess, before he ends this game. Give himself a little air time on that, too. 1-2, and now here's the 3-9. Let's call it one to one. That's fair. You can do just that. So we take a break. All tied up in the finals of the million dollar. <laughs> that was too easy. That. Million dollar challenge from here in Dallas. We'll be back with more in just a moment. An infield fly is a fair fly ball not including a line drive. When the Rockets were in the finals, Elise called the NBA, really complaining about the officiating. Now she's studying the baseball rule book. Before two are out, the pitcher, catcher... If I were an umpire, I'd think twice before making a call against the Astros in Houston. Kids 4-14 to can run the bases after the Astros-Reds game Sunday, April 21st, courtesy of Rainbow Buns. For tickets, call 6 Astros. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Lieberman-Klein, Basketball Hall of Famer, and it's time for the Dr. Pepper Nancy Lieberman-Klein 
free basketball clinics for young girls. We stress developing discipline, leadership, drug awareness. Now we want to help take your game to another level. Learning how to compete at an early age for young girls is vital to their growing and building of character. For more information on the Nancy Lieberman Klein basketball camp, call 612-6090. Unlock your body's potential. We proudly offer Solomax. 32 old-fashioned iron-pumping exercises, each correct in form and balance, all on a simple machine that fits in the corner of your home. For a free brochure, call anytime. Welcome back to CJ's Billiard Palace in Dallas, Texas. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. CJ Wiley won games three and game four. We join game five, Wiley up three games to one. Okay, pockets the one. Where's the two? He's looking for it. He's got a nice, easy, straight in shot almost in the side pocket. Balls are wide open. CJ trying to break it loose here in the early goings. It's only three to one, but hey, you get that early lead that helps uh, helps take away the uh, pressure on you a little bit. Always nice to jump out to an early lead, get things rolling, get the butterflies out. But you never get comfortable playing against a competitor like Strickland, right? No, he's a monster. He's a monster. When he gets going, I mean, there's only one way to stop him. You got to throw a tomato at him or something. What are you gonna do? Okay, position for the seven here. This is the key in this frame. Watch the cue ball. In a good position here for the seven ball. Eight and nine are laying in an easy position. Well, he's done it again. I cannot believe it. We've, we've seen him do this time and time again, uh, Kevin, in the semifinal match. He's had a history with this same pocket. And he has had all kinds of problems with that pocket. Talking to him earlier, he said his arm just doesn't feel right. He doesn't know what the matter, you know, what's the matter, but just says his right arm isn't feeling right. How about this? Bank is open and he gets right down on the seven. Well, this is no easy shot. Seven's frozen on the rail. He's got to cut this ball a little bit. Not an easy shot. Made it look that way. Hey, he made it look that way. That's the pearl from Greensboro, North Carolina. Say hello to all those tar heels out there. They're watching the Pearl, Earl Strickland. Here in his hometown of Roseboro, North Carolina. We're going to take a break. C.J. Wiley regrouping, but he leads Earl Strickland three games to two. Ava Mataya on one of America's fastest growing sports. When I play, I concentrate only on the game. And to do my best, it's important that the table is consistent and accurate. It all has to come together to be the best. And for me, that's Brunswick. Their tables are well made and beautifully designed. Whether competing in tournaments or having fun with family and friends, remember, the game is billiards. And the name is Brunswick. Brunswick, a tradition of excellence since 1845. When it comes to custom cases, Royal Case is the place. We're one of the leading manufacturers of custom carrying cases in the United States. With over 30 years of experience, we make custom cases for anything imaginable in vinyl, nylon, cordura, or leather. We can produce as few as 50 pieces, up to 1 million or more. If your company has a new or existing product, give it the Royal treatment. Put it in a Royal Case. Faced with an impossible deadline, don't panic. We can do it for the best service in the industry. Call Royal Case Company, Sherman, Texas at 1-903-868-0288. C.J. Wiley leading Earl Strickland three games to two. These guys are not playing for peanuts, so we're $41,000 in prizes, prize money for this tournament. Ball's just exploding off the rack. Now Earl Strickland basically sprinting back to pick up his stick. He's ready to roll. He's a fast player. Oh, 
Oh, boy. I think he's too happy with that shot, and I don't blame him. That was not a good shot there by the Pearl. And no one would tell you sooner than that than him. There you go, Kevin. You try to slam a ball into the side pocket on that type of an angle. You're flirting with danger. Too hard of a shot. Now, there wasn't a big pocket there. He just hit this ball way, way, way too hard. But that's just the overflowing confidence of Earl Strickland. Not much room for error in that side pocket. Now he's got the six and the seven. What he's worried about here is the cue ball hitting the side tip of the pocket. He wants to run the cue ball straight down the table to get position. No, he's going to go play it into the side. No problem there. I thought he wanted to run it down the rail. He got perhaps a little bit too straight on this ball. That's okay. We'll give, just give it a little left hand English and spin it around. Shoot over the nine. It's a tough shot. Anytime you're jacked up over a ball like that, it's a difficult shot. He shot it in with ease. Looking to extend the lead. C.J. Wiley. Takes game six. And he leads in the race to 11. Leads it four games to two. Now there's a shot. If your cameras could go a little bit over there to the right. We got some legendary players in the audience tonight. Thousand dollars to first, sixty-five hundred to second place, and the rest of the way down, forty-five hundred. Not a bad day for the third place. Forty-five, thirty-five hundred for fourth, and fifth, and sixth take home. They split five thousand dollars. The inaugural tournament for the PCA and the director of operations for the PCA leading it right now. Three ball goes. Lucky three ball. He's got a good look at the one. Long way to go to find the two. Yeah, just put some hot mustard on this ball and try to bring it back down table. Could have been a little bit better. Uh, I don't particularly like this type of shot myself. But as well as CJ's been playing, uh, well, I'd rather have him shoot now, that's for sure. And now you see why. That was a nice shot. <laughs> Great job. And how about the position for the four? Great shot. Well, they're just slamming balls in a million miles an hour. Sounds like shotguns going off. Okay, we're gonna roll the cue ball down the table and back, come up for the six. No problem here. They're all laying nice. Play the six right in the corner. Just stop the ball right there. Play the seven in the side. And then try to get your position from the eight to the nine. Swing this around three rails. One, two. Could have been a little bit better. Could have been a little bit better, and it should have been a little bit better. Similar shot to the two he made a moment ago. Right. No problem. And CJ Wiley, the hometown favorite, takes game seven and leads in the match. Five games to two and doing what you have to do to beat Earl Strickland. That is keeping Earl Strickland in his chair. Okay, we'll take another look at the two ball. Feathering it down the rail into the pocket. That was a nice shot. That was the game winner right there. Now there's CJ's wife, Angela. She looks like Miss Texas to me. That's what I call her. Beautiful lady. Hey, she wants her old man to win this thing so she can go shopping at Macy's a little later. There's Lisa Strickland, Earl's lovely wife. 
She's wondering whether she's going shopping at Macy's or just having a hamburger at McDonald's. That's up to C.J. Wiley. Earl the Pearl right now, definitely not in too good a mood. Three balls pocketed on the break, Kevin. These guys break the ball so good it makes me sick. Nice shot there, too. Look out for the scratch. One time, the no. scratch. God. Cool player's worst enemy. I just can't do anything. Scratch ball. Perfect. I just Vanishing. can't. Oh, what? Take anything. In the sun. There we go. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, see, Take nice shot there. Well, oh, it was a nice shot. And I don't think in his wildest dreams he'd ever thought he would scratch on that. But uh, that's pool for you. Pool rhymes with T, stands with T. We call it tremendous. Something like that. I don't know what they said in that movie. the door wide open and Earl Strickland happy to step through it and pulled within two games at five games to three. Yeah he's fortunate the score is in 6-2 right now. It was a good shot that CJ made on the two ball. As far as the scratch goes there you go we're going to play the blue into the pocket. Yeah, well, yeah, let's play the white into the pocket, too. A little trick shot there. Hey, two for the price of one. <laughs> Wanted to hurry uh, up and get there. No, my gosh. Talk about a headache. Can't believe it. Oh, well. Rack him up, play another one. making balls on the break so far this set. If you keep him from pounding two, three balls in on the break, you got a chance to beat him. Well, when he won the million dollars by running the 10 straight racks earlier in the, from the first day of the tournament, in fact, pocketed the nine ball on five breaks. And let's talk a little bit about the unfortunate opponent that he had at that time, Nick Menino. Who sat and watched Earl the Pearl run 11 racks and pocket a cool million? Hey, I like that. Now that's cool. Oh, nice. Safety played well on the one ball. And so was that, by the way. Little defense there by the gunslinger from Dallas, C.J. Wiley. I think he can see the two, can he? Uh, he'll let you know in one second, I'm sure. I believe he can see it. Talk about a good roll of the dice there. Sure he can. Made the one, got shape for the two, all the way from a hook shot. position for the orange ball, the five ball, which will be next. Uh, I didn't like that. I don't think Earl did either. Not good placement by the cue ball there. <laughs> Earl says, hey, what does it matter? Just got me backwards, cut this ball, and run this frame out. The pearl. The most dangerous man on the greens today is Earl the Pearl from Greensboro, North Carolina. <laughs> Brings it back and will be straight on. 
gone for the nine. How do you like the position of that cue ball? He is straight in. Think he's done that a time or two in his life? Ah, uh, he's just a lucky shooter, this guy. Game so. nine goes to Strickland. Five games to four. And Strickland in control of that mat, of that uh, game. Leaves the match. Five games to four. Mm -hmm. Nice little kiss off the two. And then the cut shot here with the five ball. Nice shot, backwards cut, feathered over into the corner pocket. And thank It'll you very much. We take a break. C.J. Wiley on top right now, five games to four. The power of nature. It can turn your summer day into a nightmare of destruction when a deadly tornado strikes. Now, National Geographic video takes you into the eye of the storm. In Nature's Fury, an incredible 60-minute You Are There video that captures nature at its deadliest. Call this toll-free number now to order Nature's Fury for only $19.95. Order now, and you'll also receive the best of cameramen who dare, absolutely free. This special television offer is not available in stores, and you have no risk as your satisfaction is guaranteed for your money back. So call now to get Nature's Fury for only $19.95 and receive your bonus video free. Call now. For rush delivery, get your credit card ready and call 1-800-592-1222. That's 1-800-592-1222. Or send your check or money order to the address on your screen. Call right now. Extra basketball, extra baseball, extra gymnastics, extra track, extra soccer, extra golf, extra softball, extra hoops, extra coverage on the extracurriculars, and our extraordinary host, Craig, will show you the extra way. High School Extra, Sunday mornings at 8.30 on Prime Sports. Welcome back to the finals of the Dallas's Million Dollar Challenge. C.J. Wiley, one game, ten. He's up six games to four in the finals due to time constraints. We now move ahead to game 11. Another guy that's in the crowd today. Nobody that's famous, but his wife has contractions right now, five minutes apart. He's got his pager on, J.J. Johnson. He's waiting for Jamie to give birth. That's a pool. That's a pool fan right there. <laughs> well, all the best of luck to him there. Page me when they get three minutes apart. Okay. You'll have to deal with that. I don't know too much about that stuff. Safe on the three. Now does he have the guts here to try to bank this ball straight back, or will he try to play a safety, Kevin? This is where the guessing game comes in. You got the guts, you think you're hot, go for the shot. If not, you're a little weak in the heart, well, we'll try to duck. Pool playing. It's not too rough, as long as you got the heart of a lion, touch of a surgeon. Brains of an Einstein. You got all that kind of stuff. Hey, you got yourself a pool player. Strickland trying to get himself a little fired up. Could be a short game here, uh, Kevin. Take a look at the 4 9 combination here. CJ Wiley's doing just that right now. Looks to be set up. He's looking his chops. He'll take it. And he'll make it. Seven games to four. Game 11 goes to C.J. Wiley. He's now one, two straight. Wiley leads the match seven games to four. Set it up perfectly with the combination. Strickland took the first game. Wiley took games two, three, and four. Strickland came back to take game five. Strickland finds himself in a bit of a peculiar situation right now, Kevin, coming from behind. It's not often that you see Earl Strickland coming from behind. He's used to having the lead. You've got to be there first, big right? leads. <laughs> you got to be there first. Yeah, absolutely. You know why people want me to be nice to them, and then they want to treat me like a creep. Anything. Okay. Nothing to CJ on the break here, but to look where the eight is. Now see where the eight ball is. Doesn't look as though CJ, I mean, excuse me, Earl can hit this one ball. That don't make sense. The uh, 
gentleman we talked about a few really minutes ago in the you know? wheelchair, the best player in the world. His name is Aaron Aragon, and he comes from California. There's the combination. And those are the kind of shots that Aaron Aragon makes. Key to that, keeping the one right there in front of the pocket, right? Well, he was happy just to Talk make the ball. He could care less for that one win. That's just an extra there. added bonus. Oh, I don't understand it. He'll take it. I don't understand it. Never will. Won't accept it. Should chair when you really do something great, you know? Now, the key in this frame is the 8 9. What's he going to do with the 8 9? Everybody has their own visions of how to play this game. I don't care if it's a beginner, an amateur, semi pro, or top guns like uh, you're watching tonight, Kevin. Everybody thinks they're the best in the world at playing this game. I guess that's what makes it so exciting. Everybody's got their own opinion. Now he's going to pocket the six here. He's going to nudge the nine out. He'll leave the eight staying right where it is. Just knock the nine out. There you go. Perfect shot. Well done. The importance of angles. Now you see it. Comes back up. Perfectly for the nine. How's the speed? Like it was on a string. Strickland takes game 12. C.J. Wiley continues to lead seven games to five. It's a race to 11. He trails in the match seven games to five. You would think, Kevin, that whoever's breaking the balls has a big advantage, but uh, so far the person breaking the balls is uh, actually doing the other guy a favor. Perhaps that will change. There's the combination, playing the bank into the one, into the seven. Now, here's the good shot right here. <laughs> Notice how he knocked the nine away, never touched the eight. That was perfect shot, perfect angle. Vintage Earl Strickland. We're at CJ's Billiard Palace in Dallas, Texas. And we got a foul ball. Kevin, it's out of the stadium. Bring us a new baseball there. That's our man Jay Helford. He'll pick yeah. it up, wipe it off. Give it to Dallas, Texas, C.J. Wiley. He has ball in hand. Big problem here, Kevin, the three and a six. Professional Q Sports Association's Dallas Million Dollar Challenge. Ooh, look at this. Look what he's going to do here. He's going to try to take the one ball all the way down table, play maybe a combination on the nine. Not a bad shot. It's a difficult shot, but he can also hook Earl. Tough, tough position, though, where the one ball is. He decided, no, let's try something a little bit better than that. More conventional here. Yeah, perhaps we can do something with the two ball and break out the three six. Now, he has the right angle to do that. He's going to pocket the two into the corner here, 100 miles an hour. He's going to hit the cue ball with some top right hand English and watch it spin back by the three and the six. I would think that he's going to do it. Right, he's going to draw it the other way. Didn't like his choice of selection there. He had a good angle to break those two balls out, and he went about it the wrong way. Mental mistake there, C.J. Wiley. Now, there's a trick shot here. He could, he could make the nine ball on this shot. It's a trick shot. He's not going to shoot it. I don't think he's got the guts to shoot it. Well, he shot at it, but it was the wrong way to shoot at it. He may have gotten lucky. And I believe he did get lucky. Very fortunate to see Wiley was on that. Earl's not going to like the looks of this shot, I believe. CJ smiling, says, ha ha, how do you like that? Hey, I'm having a good time. Let's see what you can do with this million dollar man. He does have a shot. Key to this frame, the five ball, the orange ball. That will come right after this next ball. He's shooting the four. If he can get decent position to the five, he's in good shape. 
And he has it. As you can see, there wasn't much room to get the cue ball over there. Perhaps he didn't. You know. uh, doesn't look good for him. He doesn't like it. Uh -oh. He's going to try to mass a little spin, a little hot mustard on this cue ball. Watch this shot. What a shot. Big time. I like that shot. A pretty boy Floyd shot. I like that shot. That was for the cash. That's what this game's all about. You can forget about them golfers. They're all millionaires playing for another million. Forget about it. These guys here, they're looking to fight. These guys are tough. Uh oh, and so is this game. Well, am I gonna make every bad mistake there by C.J. Wiley? Lost total control, uh, control of the cue ball. Don't know what he's going to do now. He's all, that's all he can do is play a safety. You don't want to give this shot to Earl. This is a free shot for Earl. He should have lost this game. He will probably now pound this ball 300 miles an hour into the corner pocket. Bank shot, Kevin, coming up straight back. Watch this. There. Nope, but he's going to leave CJ. Perhaps he's going to leave CJ. Like right? I would think that CJ will try to bank this ball rather than cut it in. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, thin to win, as you oh, said. A little thin to win there, baby. What a shot. Yeah, I'll run that one back. I would have banked it myself. Wiley up by three games, eight games to five. Earl Stricken, a little. A little frustrated right now. I mean, he has gotten off the seat. He's had a whole lot of good looks. <laughs> There's the jump shot again. See that ball take off in the air. Hop over the six. Pocket the five. And then, after making the eight, comes down here and gets married to the nine. Well, those are the pool gods. They're up there watching, too. They want to torture CJ. They want to torture Earl. I'm glad I'm retired. They're not going to torture me anymore. Well, the folks that are here have enjoyed what they've seen so far. They've been anything but through torture. Actually, I guess they've enjoyed watching these guys go through it. CJ pockets the two ball. That's the blue ball. The blue ball is a two ball, and that's what he pocketed on the break. Easy shot here on the one ball, the yellow ball. Now he must put some draw on this ball. Draw it back. He's going to play it with high English. Try to come back for the three ball. He's not happy with that. Very oh, bad speed on that shot. One to come down the table a lot farther. <sighs> Professional pool players do not want the cue ball to travel much, Kevin. The, uh, the least amount of difference that your ball travels, the better shape that you'll be in to run the table. Now that's just a perfect shot there. He deserves to win this game after making a shot like that. Good shot, perfect speed. But the game is ever so tough. You never know when the devil's going to jump up and bite you. Here, going to try to slide it. Two rails over to the side rail. Good shot there. Straight in on the seven ball. Good speed by CJ. Cue ball speed, very important. Here's the seven. Stay straight on the eight. Cut on the nine. C.J. Wiley takes game, 14, or game 14, and he's two games away from winning the Dallas Million Dollar Challenge. He leads it nine games to five. Summer full of kicks. Dallas Sidekicks season tickets on sale now. Call 214 653 0200. 
legends are coming to Houston. Don't miss the greatest stars of women's tennis in Houston for the Legends of Tennis. Hosted by your Houston area Pontiac GMC dealers, May 18th and 19th at Westside Tennis Club. Join tennis stars Martina Navratilova, Billie Jean King, Yvonne Gulagan, Pam Shriver, Cena Carrison Jackson, and more for a weekend of exciting singles and doubles competition. The Legends of Tennis, May 18th and 19th. For tickets, call 713-953-1111. Are you ready for some volleyball? Well, get ready to spike it up. Spike it up. The official amateur volleyball tour of the AVP and NBC Sports is open to players of any age and ability. Whether you play once a day or once a year, Spike It Up has a division for you. Spike It Up brings the ultimate volleyball weekend. Sign for volleyball action and volleyball-themed special events. Spike It Up! Spike It Up brings the ultimate volleyball weekend to Dallas-Fort Worth. For an entry form, call the Spike It Up hotline at 214-404-1999. Kevin Ashenfelder, Jim Mattia back with you here in Dallas and lived up to the expectations so far. Well, and uh, recently when they played in the semifinals, it was CJ who was trying to catch up. Now we got Earl Strickland trying to catch up, something that he's not used to. He usually has the lead. Wiley the break, leading 9-5. First to 11 games. Okay, pocketed the four ball, the purple ball. Must play the balls in rotation. That's what makes the game of nine ball so difficult as compared to some of the other pool games. Nine ball, you must play rotation. There's only one ball to play position on. Tough game, nine ball. Safety this. Uh, he's going to have to play a safety here. Now what he wants to do is feather the one ball and put the cue ball behind the eight. But he's got a funny angle to try to do that. And you see him shaking his head. He just can't do that. If the cue ball was pushed over just a little bit, if he says, oh, if my opponent wasn't watching, I could just take this ball with my hand and push it over a little bit. But my opponent's watching, so I can't do that. But look at the shot he come up he with anyway. Fine Not fine. bad. <laughs> Okay, you're going to see Earl go airborne here. He does this better than anybody in the world. He's going to hop over the nine, play the yellow ball into the corner pocket. <laughs> Earl Strickland looks like he just lost his best friend. Somebody should remind him that he's got a cool million dollars coming after this is over with. The night time. of the tournament, he <laughs> ran 11 racks. That insurance company that put the million dollars up, they figured, hey, nobody can run 11 racks. Are you kidding me? Yeah, well, go pay off the pearl now. Chances were one in eight million that that would happen, and it happened on the first day of the tournament. It was amazing. I'd have to say that's the equivalent to, uh, what, five 300 no, games in a row in bowling? Or perhaps taking it back to the golden years of the bear, Jack Nicholas. It's about like him going out and shooting a 58. That's what is running 11 racks of nine ball. Just to, what a feat. More defense than there is offense right now. We're in game 15, C.J. Wiley leading nine games to five. Game of con and a game of hustle right now. Who can outsmart who to get that first shot to the one ball? C.J.'s going to kick across the table here. Nice hit. Nice hit. Was not an easy hit. Was not an easy hit. And look what happened to this. Oh, Earl's not going to like this. Earl does not like it when stuff like this happens to him. He doesn't mind laying it on his opponent, but when it happens to him, Happy. And if he doesn't win this frame, Kevin, he's in big trouble. Taking a ride on a reading, as we call it. Trying to get a little bit lucky, throw the dice. Sometimes you got to do that. Nice shot by CJ there on one. That was not an easy shot. He had to put a lot of low right hand English on the cue ball and draw it back to get position on the two. That's what makes the game pool so tough. You take a piece of wood, you hit it into a ball, into a pocket, and then you got all the spin on the ball, and then you got to play position for the next ball. Now you know why pool is the master of all games. 
most difficult sport alive to master. Pool. C.J. Wiley, believe what you say, but he's making it look awfully easy right now. Yeah, well, he has no easy shot here, and he knows it. To make the shot is one thing. Got to have good position for the next ball. That'd be the green ball, the six ball. See, that's what caused him to miss. It wasn't the shot. It's what he tried to do with the cue ball. Out of line on every shot. This table so fast. It's just uncontrollable. C.J. Wiley knows about coming back. Earl Strickland wants to learn about it himself. Wiley in the semifinal. Won seven straight games. He was down 10 to 4 facing elimination. Right now, Earl Strickland down nine games to five. Has the table. Yeah, he was down 10 games to four to Paul Poitier from Canada. Right now, Poitier is probably in a coma somewhere. Can't believe that he lost. Can't believe he's not playing in the finals. Look out for the side pocket. from pocketing $10,000 and winning the Dallas Million Dollar Challenge is C.J. Wiley. Let's take a look at the scratch. This is why the game is so tough. Here he just feathered the nine. I mean, just tickled the nine. It was enough to make the cue ball go into the hole. Those are the things that make pool so tough. We take a break. C.J. Wiley back to take it all in just a moment. Looking to break into a new and exciting place to play? Everyone's talking about CJ Sports Bar and Billiards Club. Open 24 hours on weekends, CJ's has a full-service bar and cafe serving your favorite foods. CJ's also has a pro shop with a complete line of billiard supplies. My friends and I come to play where the pros play and to watch CJ Wiley, ESPN's World Open Champion. So drop into CJ Sports Bar and Billiards Club, one half mile south of White Rock Lake next to Blockbuster Video on Garland Road. Ava Mataya on one of America's fastest growing sports. When I play, I concentrate only on the game. And to do my best, it's important that the table is consistent and accurate. It all has to come together to be the best. And for me, that's Brunswick. Their tables are well made and beautifully designed. Whether competing in tournaments or having fun with family and friends, remember, the game is billiards. And the name is Brunswick. Brunswick, a tradition of excellence since 1845. You know what my favorite thing about hockey is? It's the sound. The sounds of stainless steel against ice. <laughs> the lap crack of a slap shot. Oak against vulcanized rubber. I like it when the referee goes, oh yeah, go ahead, try. I'm not even covering that side of the net. Snap. And then that sound of the whistling as it goes through the air. Right the and the crowd goes nuts. He shoots his score! Hockey. It's a beautiful thing. The Stanley Cup playoffs on Fox. Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 Pacific. Back to C.J. Wiley's Billiard Palace in Dallas, Texas. It's the Professional Q Sports Association's Dallas Million Dollar Challenge. C.J. Wiley, the host of this tournament, and his wife looking on and hoping that one more game could be put in the books. She's a little happier now than she was earlier, I can tell you that. She smells the roses. Take home that $10,000 prize? Well, she ain't taking it home yet. Earl is still in the arena. Three ball, three ball has got CJ hooked. Otherwise, this might have been the ball game. Three ball come up there and snuck in there. Roll out. Another one of the intangibles that you got to deal with in the sport of pocket billiards, the boss of all non physical sports. After the push out, CJ Wiley. Have to shoot it. Oh, and does he ever? Nice little feather there by Earl the Curl. 
And behind the five, good shot. Safety back at you. No, CJ can hit this ball. Now watch what he does with the cue ball. He's going to try to lay it behind the four six. See the four six there? See how he sandwiched it between them two? Merle's in a very difficult spot here. Very difficult. Not to mention the fact that CJ needs one game, Merle needs six. For one now, Kevin, when you shoot jacked up over the lap, a ball like that, oh, is it tough? It's so tough. Look at that shot. And now uh, another one. Now another tough <laughs> shot. <laughs> he is in trouble here, but I tell you, well, it's two what great you would call shots. Scrambling. Nice shots there. Especially being behind like he is right now. C.J. Wiley with ball in hand. Well, that's a shame. See, that's what I mean about pool. You make two great shots like uh, Earl Strickland just made, and the final windup is you get punished. That's what makes pool such a cool game. I love the cruelty. <laughs> Five, back down for the six. He's going to get back up for the seven. Well, he's got the perfect angle for it. Come right up off off the rail. Not a happy camper right there. How does somebody win a million dollars and be unhappy? Can you explain that I'll to me? i tell you what, you'd have a hard time wiping a smile off my Jeez, face for Wes. a couple of weeks. How about giving me two million? I'll stay mad for a week, okay? There's the eight, and we're down to one shot. C.J. Wiley. Talked about of John Double of this game. <laughs> oh, the pool gods, they're still watching. They haven't went to bed. They figure, well, we've tortured Earl enough. Now let's torture CJ a little bit. I guarantee he'll make this shot. Guarantee he will make this shot. Yeah. Where's he going with it? Back down at the other corner? He doesn't care. <laughs> Any corner. See what I mean? I know what I'm talking about. Yes, you do. CJ Wiley, a chance to close it out. He couldn't do it, but he still leads 10 games to six. We're back to Dallas in just a moment. Looking to break into a new and exciting place to play? Everyone's talking about CJ Sports Bar and Billiards Club. Open 24 hours on weekends, CJ's has a full-service bar and cafe serving your favorite foods. CJ's also has a pro shop with a complete line of billiard supplies. My friends and I come to play where the pros play and to watch CJ Wiley, ESPN's World Open Champion. So drop in to CJ Sports Bar and Billiards Club, one half mile south of White Rock Lake next to Blockbuster Video on Garland Road. In the right hands, they're magic wands. We're going to do this one the hard way. Crafted of hard rock Canadian maple, protected with four coats of the toughest finish money can buy. An investment that will pay off year after year. Now we're going to shoot the 4-2 combination all the way down. It's knowing you own the best. Over 80 different models, shaft diameter, weight, inlay patterns and wraps create over 10,000 custom combinations, all bearing the number one name in pool, McDermott. Three rails on the eight, nine ball corner. For great shots and great times on and off the table, it's McDermott. Call now. 1-800-POOL-Q for the free catalog that'll put the best in your hands. There's no time like now. 1-800-POOL-Q. McDermott. Simply the best. Ten games to six. D.J. Wiley with a chance to close it out. But like you said, it doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. Had the nine ball. Yep. That was a chance to win it all. Yep, $10,000 miss right there. 
and he's left the door wide open now for Strickland, although Strickland is down 10 games to six. Take a look at them eyes. He's got eyes of an eagle. Can't wait to get back to the table. He'd like to spit nails right now, I guarantee you. He should be popping the champagne and partying with Angela right now. But the game's not over. It goes on. The pearl back to the table. Trails by four games. Well, once again, the break, who is usually Earl Strickland's best friend, Kevin, has been his enemy in this match. He is having all kinds of problems breaking the balls, and uh, that is just not the Earl Strickland. Let's go back to the nine ball there. I knew he'd make this shot. I just know the way this game stand. is. Oh, I'm telling you, I would have bet the house on it. I just knew it. Not a cruel game. How could you not love this game? All the pain, all the suffering. Oh, I love it. Now, he wanted to come down a little bit more here. He doesn't have the right angle for this ball. This brought the position for the six. Well, I guess he did have a good angle for it. Okay. This will be the last rack. The fat lady can start to sing now, Kevin. He might have blowed the last one. He's not going to blow this one. himself a tough shot. He sure did. He sure did. I'm sure he remembers the last nine ball he missed. Oh. He will not miss this one. Say good night. It's been nice talking to you. Yeah. Good night. C.J. Wiley defeats Earl Strickland. It is the first ever PCA Dallas Million Dollar Challenge winner. We'll be back and talk to the winner and the runner-up when we return to Dallas, Texas. T.J. Wiley's Billiard Palace in just a moment. C.J. did it all this week. He produced it. What questions keep men up nights? How good can you possibly feel? Are you looking for peak performance? Men's Health Magazine has the answers. Call now and get your first issue free. You'll discover uncommon knowledge like 50 ways to flatten your stomach without sit-ups. How to cut your cholesterol 30 points in only 30 days. Five intimate secrets to better relationships. With this special TV offer, you'll also get these three vital books free. Discover the sex secrets women wish men knew. Learn how to get rid of that gut quickly and easily. Plus, you'll get 101 Men's Health Secrets Every Man Should Know. Call now for your free trial issue of Men's Health. You'll get the full year of Men's Health for 1997 and these three books free. Where are the answers to your questions? In Men's Health. Call 1-800-423-2121 now for a free trial issue of Men's Health magazine. Subscribe now at our lowest rate and get all three books free. Have your credit card ready and call now. Engine roars, speed soars, tires squealing, walking, the fleets in the crowd, and pretty doggone loud in your face action. The Hooters Series. Catch the excitement Saturday at 10 on Prime Sports. C.J. Wiley wins it 11 games to six, and he is the champion. He's got some words. Not only is he the champion, but he's the host of this tournament. And C.J.'s got some words. Yes, I'd like to thank everybody, everybody for being here at this historical event. On behalf of the Professional Q Sports Association and the McDermott Tour, I want to thank our sponsors, Royal Case Company, Texas Express Promotions Group, Championship Billiards, McDermott Qs, Brunswick DNR Cloth, and all our PCA players. A special thanks to all of you, our supporters, for making this first tournament of the PCA Tour a success. Earl Strickland, George Breedlove, and I form the PCA to usher in a new era in professional billiards and to place the present and the future of pool back in the hands of the players. This is our vision and goal. The first step began with this tour and the million dollar challenge. You all know that last Thursday evening against astronomical odds, Earl the Pearl Strickland ran 11 consecutive racks. This was an amazing feat to behold and I have never seen such a demonstration of pool mastery. Year in. Year in 
and you're out, Earl has been the best of the best, and this historical event has earned him a new nickname, Earl the Million Dollar Man Strickland. Yeah. The Million Dollar Challenge gives Earl and the other PCA Tour players an opportunity to show the world the best talent and most exciting competition that professional billiards has to offer. So on behalf of the PCA Tour, I present to Earl a $50,000 check as his first annuity payment. The Million Dollar Challenge stands. I hope to see everyone at Hollywood Park May 24th. Thank you. That is C.J. Wiley, the champion, Earl Strickland, the runner-up. And we'll be back to Dallas to speak to both of them in just a moment. Looking for one of these? One rider has been rated way above the rest in giving you a real workout with no impact. Best of all, it's half the price of the health rider. With variable resistance, it's no wonder Cardio Glide was rated best in giving you a real workout. Everyone, I'm Nancy Lieberman Klein, Basketball Hall of Famer, and it's time for the Dr. Pepper Nancy Lieberman Klein Free Basketball Clinics for Young Girls. We stress developing discipline, leadership, drug awareness. Now we want to help take your game to another level. Learning how to compete at an early age for young girls is vital to their growing and building of character. For more information on the Nancy Lieberman Klein Basketball Camp, call 612-6090. C.J. Wiley wins it over Earl Strickland, 11 games to six, and he is the champion of the Dallas Million Dollar Challenge. I welcome you back, and we've got the champion with us here. First of all, congratulations. What a great way to start out for the PCA. You couldn't have asked for anything more out of this week. This is a dream come true, Kevin. I'm telling you, everything just went uh, more than perfect. Uh, it's, it's hard to imagine uh, uh, planning on something like this. You know, we broke all odds here this week and it was a great tournament talk real quickly about the pca how did it start what it stands for and, and like you said you got to be ecstatic about where things are going right now right this uh tour was started by uh, earl strickland and george brelev and myself and a host of other players that uh you know we stand for improving the game and uh improving the image and, and doing all the right things to bring this into the major league of sports because uh, pocket billiards is a great tv game and I uh, think you have to agree with that after this tournament. <laughs> Jimmy Mattia, you got some questions about what happened on the felt. Pardon me? What, what happened in, the, in, the, ma in the, the match? Well, I know what happened in the match. This guy couldn't wait to get back to Earl Strickland after what happened in the first match. He missed a seven ball that he should have made. It should have been a 10-10 game, and who knows who would have won after that. He couldn't wait to get back to the table. And he got his revenge, and rightfully so. Right now... C.J. Wiley is the hottest nine ball player in the world today. He just won the biggest tournament in history of pool a month ago, $90,000. It's only fitting that he comes down here, works his head off, and wins his own tournament. He's going to have to give himself the own trophy, you know, his trophy. <laughs> Before we get to the finals, let's talk a little bit about the semifinals. Do you think you had a shot to come back down 10-4? Or mm, down 10-4? No, I didn't. I tell you, uh, he gave me a, a chance, and I just felt some energy come into me that uh, gave me the confidence to go ahead and uh, try to win. And, uh, you know, the odds were maybe not seven and a half million to one, but they were certainly up there pretty high. <laughs> Did you have any flashbacks in the finals now when you got down to the nine ball and you rattled that one out? Oh, I just, uh, you know, one thing I don't know if you mentioned, these pockets are extremely small and they are cut to the professional standards. I'm going to tell you, if one single negative thought comes into your mind, uh, you might not like the results, and I didn't like those results. Well, early on, the thought process, though, you look like you may have been down a little bit, especially in the semifinals. How'd you turn things around, just simply by playing your way out of it? I'll tell you, it just, uh, you know, it was a force higher than myself. I'll tell you, it just uh, allowed Jimmy me Jimmy refers to, to uh, those as the pool gods. The pool gods. Uh, well, <laughs> whatever you want to consider it, it, it happened, and uh, I'm very thankful. Let's go back 
to the first day of the tournament, the million dollar challenge in Earl. Just, that's unbelievable. Eight and a half, what, nearly eight million to one odds and then runs the uh, 11 racks in a row and wins a million dollars. Yeah, that was something else. I tell you, that's going to go in history and uh, the Guinness Book of World Records and everything else. People will be talking about this for a long, long time, I'll tell you. You got a lot of things to worry about here. Not only are you the, the champion, but you're also the host. And by the way, he does not get to present the trophy to himself. That was something you were waiting to do, but uh, you're probably glad you're not having to do that. And you get uh, 10 grand in your pocket and a great job as far as putting this whole tournament together. I'll tell you what, it was great, Kevin. I appreciate you being here. All right. All right, Jimmy Matai and I will be back with some final words in just a second. Congratulations to this guy, C.J. Wiley. We're back to Dallas in just a moment. When it comes to custom cases, Royal Case is the place. We're one of the leading manufacturers of custom carrying cases in the United States. With over 30 years of experience, we make custom cases for anything imaginable in vinyl, nylon, cordura, or leather. We can produce as few as 50 pieces, up to 1 million or more. If your company has a new or existing product, give it the Royal treatment. Put it in a Royal Case. Faced with an impossible deadline, don't panic. We can do it for the best service in the industry. Call Royal Case Company, Sherman, Texas at 1-903-868-0288. Ava Mattia on one of America's fastest growing sports. When I play, I concentrate only on the game. And to do my best, it's important that the table is consistent and accurate. It all has to come together to be the best. And for me, that's Brunswick. Their tables are well made and beautifully designed. Whether competing in tournaments or having fun with family and friends, remember, the game is billiards. And the name is Brunswick. Brunswick, a tradition of excellence since 1845. Looking to break into a new and exciting place to play? Everyone's talking about CJ Sports Bar and Billiards Club. Open 24 hours on weekends, CJ's has a full-service bar and cafe serving your favorite foods. CJ's also has a pro shop with a complete line of billiard supplies. My friends and I come to play where the pros play and to watch CJ Wiley, ESPN's World Open Champion. So drop in to CJ Sports Bar and Billiards Club, one half mile south of White Rock Lake next to Blockbuster Video on Garland Road. Ava Mattia on one of America's fastest growing sports. When I play, I concentrate only on the game. And to do my best, it's important that the table is consistent and accurate. It all has to come together to be the best. And for me, that's Brunswick. Their tables are well made and beautifully designed. Whether competing in tournaments or having fun with family and friends, remember, the game is billiards. And the name is Brunswick. Brunswick, a tradition of excellence since 1845. Million Dollar Challenge on Prime Sports is brought to you by the Professional Q Sports Association, by Royal Cases, and by McDermott Cues. Well, the PCA puts on a good show. The Dallas Million Dollar Challenge is in the books, and C.J. Wiley is the champion. He wins it over Earl Strickland. Kevin Eschenfelder along with Jimmy Mattia. Jimmy, your final observations on the tournament. Oh, great tournament. The uh, best players in the world here all week in Dallas. Couldn't ask for a finer event, not to mention watching pocket billiard history, 11 racks in a row by Earl Strickland. C.J. Wiley facing elimination in the semifinals. Down 10 games to four, he wins seven straight and brings it on in the finals. Absolutely. C.J. Wiley, he is the man to beat. He lost to Earl Strickland in the winner's bracket of the semifinals, but came on strong, avenged that loss against Earl Strickland. And this puts C.J. Wiley right up there with the best players in the world, right? Oh, absolutely. He's the number one man in the world right now, in my opinion, to beat. He's on a roll. And once he got through that semifinal in the loser's bracket, uh, it really he just got on a roll, and he was the man with the momentum. Yeah, well, he's a tremendous player. You get that confidence going, that's what nine ball's all about. He was the more confident player tonight. And he did what you have to do against Earl Strickland. That's, he kept Earl Strickland in his seat, right? Well, Earl's best friend is his break, and his break wasn't working tonight, and that really hurt him. How about the composure by C.J. Wiley? He had a chance because, you know, he rattled that nine ball in a chance where he could win it all, and uh, well, he didn't get rattled. He just came back strong. Well, it's a shot to remember. Those things happen. He won't forget it. Luckily for him, it didn't cost him the title. And he had some problems early on, but C.J. Wiley, the man who hosted this event and uh, the director of the PCA, he comes away with the victory in his first ever PCA tournament, and now it will move on from here, but you got to like the way this thing has started. Absolutely. This looks like a magnificent thing that they've got going. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for the players. I'm happy for 
for everybody that plays pool and is connected with pool. How about some other names that you saw in this tournament that didn't quite make it to the finals, but some names that you will see down the line? Well, Paul Partier, uh, Max Eberle, uh, George Breedluff, Bobby Hunter. I could go on and on and on. Jimmy Fusco, Larry Lascotti. I love them all. I've known them all for a long time. Good friends of mine. Great job as always. Thank you. We'll see you down the line. Again, congratulations to C.J. Wiley as he is the host and the winner of the Dallas Million Dollar Challenge. We've got 